Hello, this is Michael Pine with True Digital Signage, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I'm going to share with you how to use our new calendar agenda integration. So I'm in the True Digital platform, and I'm in the Temple Library. Now I'm just going to scroll down here until I find the integration. Right here, I'm going to click on it and click Install. Now that's going to bring it into the My Templates area, and so I can start making some changes. Go ahead and click on that and click Edit and we'll see a preview of what it looks like. Now we don't have any events to display right now because we haven't linked any calendars to the template. So I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Template. I'm just going to click on that block right over there on the right and you'll notice a space for a calendar URL. I'm just going to want to delete whatever's in there. And you'll also see that the formats supported are iCal and .ics calendar formats. You also have the option to display a day view or a week view. I'm just going to leave this one as a week view, and you can also scroll your calendar. So if you have lots of events that don't fit on one page necessarily, you can change this to yes, and it will scroll through all of your events. So if you're using a company calendar, let's say, and you don't really have access to maybe one of those URLs, I would definitely recommend contacting your IT department, and hopefully they'll be able to help you out and provide that URL for you. I'm going to show you a couple ways to retrieve the URL if you do have access to those calendars. So I'm going to jump into my calendar right here, into company calendar. You see I have a lot of events going on. Simply go ahead and click these dots right here over to the right. And I'll click settings and sharing. From here I just scroll down and then I'll find secret address in iCal format. Go ahead and double click that and right click and copy it. And then I'll just go back into the True Digital platform, come into this calendar URL, paste that URL right in there, then I'll go ahead and click Save. From there I can go ahead and click Save Changes up at the top left, and I'll get a preview of what my calendar looks like. So now you see it's scrolling through, and I have all my events for that week. Now I do want to show you another option as far as calendar goes. So I'll go ahead and click that and delete this calendar URL there. I'm going to jump into my other calendar here, which many people are familiar with. And I've got a couple events going this week. For this one, you're going to want to make this calendar public. You'll copy the URL right there and then click Done. And this one, you just need to make a little edit. So I'm going to paste it right in here somewhere and then you need to take out the web cal and then you'll just add HTTPS and you go ahead and copy that go back to the true digital platform and paste that link right into the calendar URL and go ahead and click save and then save changes and you'll see that the calendar has now been included so if you want to spruce it up a little bit, you can edit the template, you can change the text out here, company calendar, go ahead and do that. And if you want to change the background, you can click the bar up there at the top and pick a particular color, upload your own image, or use one of our preset images. So I'll just go ahead and use this one, click save, and again when I click save changes, we'll see a preview of what it looks like. So the nice thing about this is the template automatically updates whenever you make changes to your calendar where if it be in Google or whichever calendar you might be using so you're always going to have fresh content that's being displayed through your calendar. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions about how to retrieve the URL or how to use the calendar please let us know. We're more than happy to help out. So thanks again for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.